the second example for the 16 cell K map is written here and without wasting any time we will move to the solution of this example so the first thing is to see how many variables are involved so there are four variables involved and for the four variables we are having 16 cell K map so we will make the 16 cell K map first Okay. A is your MSB and D is your LSB. This cell represents your M0. This one represents your M1. Similarly, I am writing down the representation of the cells at the extreme right corner 5, 6, 7, now 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Now we will fill the cells for 0 the function is high so 1 there is no 1 here so for this min term m1 the function is low or 0 so I usually don't write 0 in the k map because it makes my map messy I just write 1 for 2 and 3 it is 1 so 2 and 3 it is 1 5 7 8 it is 1 5 7 8 10 11 14 10 11 14 and 15 now the next step is to pair them so let's start pairing the largest pair that I can see is the pair of these four ones okay now after this you can pair these four ones this one this one and these two ones so this is your second prime implicant this one was your first prime implicant now we are left with this one and this one so I can combine this one in this way this is our third prime implicant you can see that these three ones are already combined but to combine this one I just took it again so you can do it a number of times you want but avoid redundancy that I have explained you in um, in the example when we were solving the three variable k map so avoid redundancy but also form the largest possible group of ones now we are only left with this one and it can be simply combined like this there is no other way to combine this one okay it can only be combined with this one so this is our fourth prime implicant okay one two three four okay now we will write down the function the function f which is equal to one or two or three or four your one is cd because cd is not changing and a b is changing and also you just combine the four ones and by combining the four ones two literal goes off 
the second one or you can say the second group of prime implicant this four ones we can see that a is changing from 0 to 1 but b is not changing it is 0 so we will write b complement whereas in c and d you can see that c is changing from 0 to 1 but d is not changing it is d complement so b complement sorry and d complement is is what we get we get from this second group of ones and in this also we combine four ones so we are out of or we just neglected or reduced you can say not neglected reduce the two literals that is a and c now we will move to the third third group of one which also contains four ones so in this also we will reduce two variables and let's see what are these variables so i can see that a is changing sorry b is changing from 0 to 1 okay 0 to 1 but a is not changing it's 1 so a is there and in this i can see that d is changing from 1 to 0 but c is same so c is here now for fourth you can simply write it as a complement b and d and uh, in this we just combine two ones so we just reduced the one literal that is c so this is the answer of this k map and uh, it's very simple to find the reduced form of a function by using a k map as compared to the boolean algebra now what happens if there is a k map in which all the 16 cells contains a 1 or what happens if a k map having 8 cells like this and all the 8 cells have 1's so you just combine them and uh, you can see that you just combine the 8 ones and by combination of 8 ones we know that we reduce 3 variables ok or I can say that the 3 variables are gone and in case of 8 cell k map the all we have is a 3 variable so we have at last by you know reducing this all a b c to the ones we are left with one because a is now one b is now one and c is now one so at last we are going to get one so whenever such type of situation happens the answer is one now in the next presentation we will see something about the don't care conditions in the k map after that we will study about the five variable k map